over the edge, over the edge, over the edge. That I know to be totally cool is you have to be cool first. Even the most conservative, from lawyers and doctors to businessmen and women in their nine to five suits, want some cool in their life. Like Grandma in her 1965 Mustang. I remember Mr. Tony Bennett telling me what cool was in the old days. He talked about times when they played jazz and everybody was in the same groove. And one musician would play a totally different riff from the others, but it still worked with the composition. That was where cool started. Tony went on to say that today, cool meant many different things. Cool is the base of all good things. It's been around since the 1920s and 30s. You know, the speakeasies, the blues clubs, prohibition, a beer here or there, that may have been considered cool. Then there was the 50s, the era of cool, the blue jeans, and the t-shirt with the sleeves rolled up, black leather jackets, hot cars, and hiked up hemlines. In today's world, you can be cool or way cool, and even way, way cool. But that doesn't make you totally cool. Did you know that in 1924, a man named Cardini invented the Caesar salad? And what was his first name? Caesar, of course. On July 4th, Gene Harlow, Clark Gable, Carol Lombard, W.C. Fields, Douglas Fairbanks, and get this, Laurel and Hardy traveled 17 miles south of the border to feast on the first Caesar salad. No anchovies, just Worcestershire sauce. It never goes out of style. Available all year round. Hi, I'm Richard. By profession, I am a freelance fashion stylist and producer. I do fashion styling for magazines, celebrities, and broadcast programming. My expertise ranges from streetwear to high-end fashion, both men and women. Hi, I'm Lori Schechter, your person on the scene. We are your TV editorialists, and this is the company we keep. Hold on. I heard you say editorialist. TV editorialist? Yep. What? Editorialist. TV editorialist. An editorialist is a journalist. A TV editorialist is like a commentator, but not a commentator. It's like a host, but not a host. A TV editorialist is an editor slash stylist who has worked for well-known magazines and therefore has the credibility to present information with editorial authority. Okay. So tonight, we have a really big shoe for you, uh, a show for you, uh, a shoe for you. Now, what am I talking about? Okay, so these feet are made for walking. Evie, the first thing I thought is we should show editorial credibility. So I pulled out this magazine story that Lori and I did some time ago called That Shoe Business. It was a history of shoes. Did you know that platforms were not invented for their look? and their style. The Renaissance Venetians had platforms to walk across water-filled streets. Here, let's take a look. In Greek society, platforms were reserved for aristocrats 
so they could be higher than everybody else. And Egyptians used them to raise their feet off the burning hot sand. The mule, an open back shoe, comes from Babylonia, and it wasn't until the 20th century that women's mules stepped outdoors. The pump, a classic evening wear and all-around dress shoe, is an Elizabethan word used to describe a thin-soled leather shoe worn originally by footmen. In fact, the pump was a man's shoe until adopted by women around 1904. The audience is listening. <laughs> Elizabethan. Okay, I got it. Well, the pump, a classic evening wear and all-around dress shoe, is an easily is really <laughs> God. <laughs> the pump, a classic evening wear and all around dress shoe, is an Elizabeth. Uh, It should turn to life. What? What were you shaking your head for? Because you were look, looking. Right I was looking. I was looking. I was looking. Right, because I want to come on. Shoo, wasn't I looking that way? No, you were looking at that one. Oh, yo, the <laughs> oh, that old thing. Excuse <laughs> <Yeah>. me. <laughs> The audience is listening.